Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last episode, we done the Dodge. I think this is Dodge Charger, and we rebuilt this um, with some performance parts. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna do uh, this Porsche 911 Turbo. Now, there is the non-turbo version. Um, but we're not going to do that because um, it means doing multiple cars. They are exactly the same. Same with the Pagani Huayra Tempeste. I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah, same with that. We're not going to do it again. But what we are going to do is we're going to take this car apart. Um, so let's start with our body panels. Um, for any of you guys who are new, uh, we do do a lot of live streams on Car Mechanic. Uh, I'm going to be, I think I would have already done one at some point, but I'm trying to pick up the amount of live streams I actually do. So I'm trying to get as many, oh, nope, trying to do as many as possible. So hopefully uh, you guys can check them out at some point. Uh, steering wheel comes out. Normal mode. Um, okay. Right, so I think the first task... I'm guessing this car would have a rear gearbox. So I think we need to take the rear wheels off first. Um, there we go. Uh, if we take out our drive axles and then uh, gearbox is here. Uh, why from the engine bay? Why do you have to be a nightmare? You would not even be able to access that from the engine bay. Right, let's put you back up. Take out the gearbox and we should be good to go. This engine does look very nice. Um, I wouldn't presume that this would have the engine oil in it, but we shall double check, see if we can pull it out now. Intercooler. Um, right, the intercooler is out. Hopefully we can pull the engine out now. Uh, yep. Oh, that's empty. I can see the floor through there. I don't think that's supposed to be possible. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to unmount the whole entire suspension. Um, oh, the fuel tank's in the front of this car. Fair enough. That's a decent place to put it, though. Mainly because there is no space in the back. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, hubcaps, brake pads.
There we go. Uh, suspension arms. Lights. They're coming out. I still hate tie rods. They're the most annoying things ever. Uh, brake calipers. So, I'm also hoping that when it comes to finishing this, uh, the sort of DLC line, when it's all done, um, I am planning on sort of doing a comparison test, seeing which cars are fastest, if that makes sense. Um, I have deleted my initial save where I had the Mazda and the, um, the two Mazdas. So I will have to rebuild them, but that's not a problem. Front sway bar. This is looking good. I'm liking that this has um, double shock absorbers. Right, so that is the front of the car sorted out. It's time to sort out the rear. Uh, we've got rear exhaust section A there. Brake discs. Wheel hubs. Shock absorbers. There's loads of parts in these cars. But every single part is important to make the final product actually function. The final product being a car. So we're actually going to build our first um, boxer engine, I think. I think this has a boxer engine. There we go. Gosh, I'm tired. Um, so that is that done. And that was quicker than we've done it ever. Okay. V6 Turbo. That is the only engine we can actually make. Uh, create new engine. B6 Turbo. So that's the B6 that um, the original car uses. And then this is a turbocharged version. Wait, what? We start with a crankshaft. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go to the here and search up B6 I can't remember is it B6A or B6B B6C that's even worse no free space in inventory haha <laughs> great again right uh, we've cleared out our space so now we can start mounting on some parts. Piston with com rods. These are normal piston with com rods. I'm guessing they're going to need rod caps as well. So if we search up for rod caps. Uh, it's six. So we need six of them. We also need piston rings. Six of them. And then we're going to put 
performance parts in. I just love putting performance parts in. It's so satisfying building a cool looking engine. And I think we have B6 parts as well. So if you look, we got B6B there, which means we could upgrade the Porsche if we wanted to. There we go. That's cool actually seeing what the pistons look like in physical shape. Because you don't actually get to see them. Because they're all hidden in the engine block all the time. They're also a very weird matte black colour. B6C. Uh, B6C engine block. I'm guessing those are the engine heads as well. Um, let's look for those pipes. I don't know how many we need. Hang on, do they have engine cylinders in the performance shop? That'd be so cool if they did. They do. They have performance engine cylinders. This is going to look amazing, this engine. That's the wrong one on there. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to put in. Right, so we need crankshaft bearing caps. Uh, if we search up crank, we should get all the crankshaft parts. Bearing caps. It's so weird seeing three pistons side by side because we've built so many V8s. B6C shaft. Where would that be? There. This engine is a very weird one. There we go. Uh, put on our 
performance engine heads. Oh, I might want to put the pipes on before I forget. There we go. Um, so what are we needing? We're needing 12 spark plugs, exhaust manifold, two of them. B6C ignition wires, don't forget about them. B6C intake manifolds. That looks good. And a B6B. Uh, and then 12 spark plugs. That was 13. Perfect. Right. There we go, so we've got our exhaust manifolds in, we've got, oh we could fit a turbo in, hang on, do we have a B6C turbo, oh my gosh that looks amazing, that turbocharger looks so cool, right so we need a B6C ignition distributor, which we don't have on here but we do on here there we go uh, B6C do we have any of them in the performance shop though Nope, gutted. And we need four clip Bs. I hate the B clips, they're so bad. Uh, clip B. Right, next we need timing cover B and timing cover A. Right, here we go. Camshaft. Uh, K 
camshaft bearing. Engine head cover A and B. Right, and then if we do this timing cover, we should be able to sort out the rest of this engine head. There we go. Broken controller again. Cam gear B6B, where are you? Timing cover C. Two of them. Okay, so we can get ourselves a V8 power steering pump from the performance shop. There we go, cover. Nice performance intake as well. Um, I think we could also get mechanical fuel injection, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's the base and then there's the actual fuel injection. Uh, so we need a B6B throttle. I can guarantee you there's one in here. B6B throttle. Uh, air filter B6B.
There we go. Uh, now we need... I thought I bought it. Ah, uh, yeah, idle. Oh, look at that chrome strip on the wires. That looks amazing. This is one of the coolest looking engines we've built. Um, so let's sort out our gearbox. Uh, if we get our clutch release blaring. No, clutch release bearing. Uh, and then chuck in our clutch stuff. And there we have it. That is the turbocharged B6 boxer engine. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.